Hi Pisces, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for 2023 and 2024. Whatever you're thinking about their current feelings, what is going to be their next move and what is the most probable outcome? Who's coming next? Let's see the messages to your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign and Pisces plus cross watchers can watch this read. And if you want to go for a personal reading, why press spells or premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. And check out all the links given down below in the description box. Check out my Instagram. Follow my Instagram at iEnigma.in. This is going to be a general reading. So some parts may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. All, already these cards are shuffled. So let's see your person's current feelings for you. Whoever you're thinking about Pisces. Oh, wow. Someone is heartbroken, I feel. Well, let's see the messages to you. Whoever you're thinking about your person's current feelings about you. They think... Okay. This is someone that sees you as a potential soulmate. This is someone that sees you as a one and only for them. But they think that you're not interested. They think that you don't see them the same way as they see you. They are feeling that you are um, looking for someone else or you're too busy doing your work, okay? So they, they have this fear. They think that they're not good enough for you. That's the thing, okay? I'm seeing this someone that wants to reach out to you but feels insecure because whenever they think about you that they want to reach out to you, they have this feeling like you're already engaged in other activities and why would you pay attention to them? This is bothering this person. They are very worried. Okay, they don't know how this is going to appear because somewhere they have confidence issues when only it comes to you. They're nervous and they feel like they're not good enough for you and they think that you're way above their league and you have a lot of other things going on in your life. Then they would got, they're going to look stupid. They reach out to you because eventually you're going to say no. That's what they think. There's strong energy. This person has strong passion and desire to date you, to commit to you. And I feel like this person has a dream that they want to put a ring on you and surprise you with it. Okay. They want to buy something extremely expensive for you and make you feel like you're on the top of the world. This person wants to do so many things to you only if you give them a chance. Because they do have this feeling like they don't trust themselves and why would you trust them? So that is something that bothers them. They have confidence issues. This could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, definitely very rich, but this is someone that is also extremely humble and down to earth, doesn't really realize what exactly their own worth is. So they could be a true gentleman, gentle person, male or female. So let me see what happened in the past. Like I wanna see you. What happened between you and this person? What is happening between you and this person? Pisces, I feel like you were trying to make this person understand that you do have emotions, but you are finding it really difficult to control and say it at balance. So you were not able to find that balance and you were not able to say it on face and yes, I have emotions, but you were started to feel it, okay? But because of this confusion that should I do it now or should I wait and am I, am I doing this right? You wanted to follow your intuition. So you want to take it slow and you also gave a lot of hints and you did a lot for this person, but somehow they always made it more difficult for you and you felt burdened. You felt like, why am I only doing the whole thing? Like this person also needs to make some efforts. So you felt like, am I stupid that I'm giving them an ego boost consistently and they're not doing anything for me? It feels like I'm giving them everything. I'm giving them my whole energy. And this person is standing there on the stage, like enjoying the spotlight. And they have nothing. Don't they have any kind of uh, responsibility towards me? That's how you felt. You felt like this person was just taking you for granted. Okay, I'm also seeing the reason why this happened is this person wasn't taking you for granted. The thing is, they were not really understanding what exactly you feel for them because you had difficulty expressing yourself in the more clear way or in the more precise way. Okay, somewhere they feel like, okay, maybe they're doing their own thing and I'm interfering too much. so I should be focusing on my work. 
but that gave you a lot of stress and anxiety and worry about losing this person but at the same time because of your self respect you had to take this decision of walking away or somewhere like at least not talking much or giving much so you stopped giving much attention and that caused this uh, confusion in security because you were not talking to this person three of wands you stopped talking they also saw you with someone else they felt like maybe you are uh, more happier with the other person so they stopped uh, interfering but i'm seeing that they want you to give them one chance if you give them one chance they'll prove them they'll prove you wrong they will give you everything that you can ever ever think of so this person wants to do things like this is someone that does things like they don't say it but they say it by acting upon it they are an action taker they are not the one that would express or communicate things so somewhere it went wrong and you felt misunderstood that has happened okay now let's see what is their next move going to be all right pisces wow Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles. They want to communicate with you. Okay, there's a lot of hesitancy from this person's end. They're not able to come towards you with a hundred percent open communication, clear cut communication. They are coming with partial communication. Every time they tell you something, and then something, they they stop, and then they come back, and then they tell you the other part of the story. Like they're not completing it at once. They're always, you know, uh, taking breaks in between. All right. So I'm seeing like, let me see more their next move. Please give me more answers about their next move. What is their next move going to be, Pisces? They're trying to figure out how to build that confidence to let you know that you're still so important and one of a kind, very special for this person. They want to nurture this connection. They want to pamper you. They're attracted to you. And the Nine of Pentacles is more like you are living your life. They see you as someone that is like an inspiration. Okay, they could be a Leo. This person wants to somehow build that courage to let you know that you're the only one for this person. So I feel like this is someone that is being too hesitant. Also because they see you in a heavy, like in a, in a high standard energy. They think that why would they choose me? They're doing so well in life. They believe in, in themselves. You come off as extremely strong and confident personality. This is also one of the reasons why this person is just losing confidence every now and then. They could be a Sagittarius. Let me see. Clarifier. Their next move, please. They have this fear that you're going to reject them. Okay, if they tell you completely what is going on in their heart, it might act like a turn off for you and you will immediately reject them. This is what is going on in their mind because you're already happy and safe and doing your own thing in your life. Why would you have them? Like They also have this feeling that uh, you have other options and you're talking to other options, you're dating other people, then why them? So their next move is to come towards you and ask for a friendship they're not going to straight away say things to you okay they're going to start off with let's be friends again so there's a possibility that their next move is going to be asking for friendship they could be a libra gemini aquarius scorpio pisces cancer Virgo, taurus capricorn is also there sagittarius is strong aquarius is strong libra gemini is strong so this is someone that is planning on reaching out to you with a friendship card okay this is what they want right now so their next move is asking for friendship like in 2024 let's begin this new year with a completely new us that's what they are going to say and they just you know why because they want to see you they want to be around you they want to know what's going on in your life so that they can come closer so the attraction is very very strong and they also want to know whether you're still going to give them a chance if they come towards you with that energy so i feel like they're going to be extremely hesitant 
and they want to show you i feel like right now they just want to show you that they can be of great help whenever you need them they'll be ready on the spot to help you this is why this person is not making it obvious and at the same time they have you around that's what they're thinking okay that is what their next move is now let's see your emotions towards this person what do you feel about this person what does the pisces feel about them all right you don't want to talk to this person you have a lot of questions to ask you have a lot of things but you're like why should i waste my energy on this person like i want to simply focus on my personal well-being and i feel like you've started to focus on more options you're not very fixated on this person anymore you want to stay away from this person so you can focus on yourself you can focus on your finances your career and you're also taking a time where you can meet new people and just just date new people so you're more willing or focused on doing something for yourself and you expect this person to reach out to you if they reach out to you you will talk but if they don't reach out to you you won't talk that is what you're thinking okay so you're in no rush to expect anything you're in no rush to reach out to this person you're like okay if they're there it's okay if they're not there then also it's okay right now you're in this energy because your major focus lies around being successful and independent right now in the common section i'm successful and i'm independent I see the most probable outcome here. I want to just clarify what is this four of pentacles other than what I told you is talking about. Yeah, you're making things tougher for this person. You know, if you don't reach out to this person, they will definitely try to come towards you and clear their points. So you're not making it easy for this person. You just want to be loving your own life, doing your own thing so that this person watches you and realize what they're losing and should come towards you that that is your plan okay that's what you think it isn't it isn't planned you just simply want to enjoy your life most probable outcome okay this person is asking for a friendship now i want to see like will this friendship happen or will this grow between you guys and how is this going to work out like the most probable outcome between you guys oh you guys wow <clears throat> they'll propose you for marriage give it like 3 weeks to 3 months time they will be proposing you for marriage it will take a lot of strength and courage for them to reach out because every time you'll feel like this person is shit nervous around you but they're still not losing any hope they have a major regret uh, that they didn't make those kind of efforts when the time was there but when they reach out to you they'll be definitely asking you for marriage and i'm not seeing you agreeing to it because you might already be engaged to someone else and that will be the biggest disappointment for this person okay so this is what is going to happen pisces now let's see who is coming next in your life what is going to happen in love the next person that is coming into your life is more close to getting married to you you will not have just the next person coming in you have at least two options coming into your life where you will be choosing between they could be a pisces they could be a taurus and there's a very strong energy if you guys from being from the similar religion background culture and status and your family is going to be super proud of each other this person could be highly spiritual into teaching to nursing into bank these kind of things very very successful or authoritative or spiritual position i feel like this person is someone that's going to bring a lot of change in your life commitment stable foundation steady commitment and marriage so i'm sensing that you're going to be dating for the first 2 to 3 months and i'm seeing after then you will be committing you'll be getting married to your person so i'm seeing there's marriage happening the next thing that is happening in your life is marriage okay yeah you're going to be falling in love with someone new this is what is happening pisces oh, i see some oracle messages to you right down the comment section i deserve the best and i believe in the power of universe 
the person that is interested in you is someone that could be older and they have been watching you work they have been watching you they could be from the similar workplace or they just know what is going on in your life they are trying to get to know every information about your whereabouts this is someone that could be older than you someone that is highly work oriented workaholic kind of a person they could be the late night worker but this is someone that is literally not liking the zero contact between you guys or they are fearful that they might lose contact with you so they want to stick around so yes i'm seeing this is not something or someone that will stay with you for a long period of time they want your attention they they think that you're a perfectionist at work there's something about you that has made this person feel like yes they're perfect match for me they are obsessed and because of your non availability is making this person curious to know more about what is going on in your life they are not liking this coffin energy that means you guys are not in touch with each other they're not liking that and you on the flip side are simply like working on your goals what is going on with you and how are they watching you Just let me see you're simply not attending to this person's calls or just not focusing on them right now you are focusing on keeping your energy to yourself talking very less and minding your own business okay you could be younger but what i'm sensing this person is not liking that you're not talking to them and you have left a major impact in this person's head believe it or not you have and they are trying to find you in other people if you let them go they'll try to find you in other people okay you guys were in a partnership in the past some of you see yes they definitely see that you're a person of self love and that is why they respect you you kept yourself above this person but i'm definitely seeing they are heavily attracted towards you but this is not the person that you can say as a true lover because your true lover is someone that will be mutual so you guys will have a mutual connection with your soulmate coming in the near future it is happening there you go you have more options than you realize someone that is born on 24 or 6 2 or 4 is coming into your life but i feel like there's a lot of light if you keep moving forward if you stay in the same place you will embrace the darkness over and over again so you you know this thing and you're not ready to take the past again so you're definitely moving forward and you will end up meeting your soulmate pisces please right on i have my soulmate around me i'm about to meet my soulmate write that down Hmm. Yes. You don't understand that everybody around really loves you. Whoever you put your hand on, that that person is going to be your lover. So you already have a lot of love around you. You really do not seek you are not that person that seeks validation because you already have a lot of love since birth you've been receiving a lot of attention, a lot of love. So you don't really crave for it that much, but your person does. This person does. They have not been in a very happy place in the past. Let's see Pisces. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I'm sensing this is someone that is about to send you a message, okay? Because you've left a heavy impact on this person's head, and they're about to message you, "I love you." Now it's up to you how you want to take this. I'm not seeing you taking really seriously this person, but you're also going to stay in talking terms with them. You're gonna like that attention that you'll be getting, but you're sure that this is not the one. Okay, you have become pretty sure about this, or you will become pretty sure about this. All right, let me uh, pick an advice for you, Pisces. Overall advice on Pisces, please. Whoa, forgiveness! You started to forgive this person. You're okay with whatever happened. Happened. You're still blessing them, okay? Because it's important for you to move on. And you're also uh, finding your unique talents, and you're working on your talents. And you definitely will go. Uh, will be rising, becoming more successful. And your unique quality, wherever you go, will be shining through, and that will make you successful. So believe in yourself. That's what I'm seeing. 
Anything else? Oh, beautiful Pisces. Right now in the comment section, I believe it. That I am the best. And I have, I'm unique. And I'm special. Mending. See? There's someone that really wants to mend things with you. This person is not okay without you. Something to do with the number 52. 5 and 2 are definitely compatible. You guys are compatible. Now, it's up to you whether you want to work on this situation because you guys are compatible. You guys may be from different backgrounds and have like very different mindset from each other, but compatibility is there. They want to mend things. Now, it's up to you. You want to mend things or not? Up to you. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful read. Pisces, thank you for your time. And please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma. Bye.